Now this morning when we deal with legacy, we're talking about a spiritual legacy, okay? A legacy of faith. Spiritual legacy or legacy of faith, it's not about people remembering me. It's about people remembering Jesus because of me. And how can we leave a legacy of faith? Generational discipleship. When we talk about discipleship, we're talking about somebody equipping somebody in the faith. There's two applications to generational discipleship. The first is the home. It's the family. The second application is the church. How can I pour faith into the next group of people so the flame continues to burn bright? It's generational discipleship. Connected to that is the second, and it's intentional discipleship. Legacy does not happen by accident. Passing the faith does not happen by accident. It requires an intentional commitment. That says two things. One, I'll run the race. <laughs> I'm going to run the race for Christ well. But then I'm also going to see who I can pass this baton to. So that brings me to the third concept. I'm calling it motivational discipleship. And that simply means, what's the motivation? <laughs> Why? Why in the world are we talking about discipleship? Why are we talking about legacy of faith? Why are we talking about passing the faith on to other people? What's the big deal? What's so important? Why should I be invested in spiritual legacy and passing the faith on to the next generation? I'll tell you why. It's because everything else is intentionally against it. The enemy, our spiritual enemy, is against spiritual legacy. The greatest reason, the greatest motivation for discipleship is that's where life is. If you want to know life and joy and peace and patience and, and, and contentment and fulfillment and all the things of life that we're searching for, that is found in Jesus Christ. It's found in Jesus Christ alone. And the deeper we go with Christ, the deeper we move in with Christ, the more we allow Him to work in us and move in us and change us and develop us and mature us, the more we're going to experience that life in Christ. Here's the fourth element. Here's the fourth concept. It's experiential discipleship. It means do as I do, not as I say. It's talking about I'm living it. I'm going to model it. In other words, discipleship, legacy of faith discipleship is not saying, okay, you need to do this. It's not just teaching and telling. You need to live like this. It's modeling. It's saying, I'm going to follow Christ, and let's do this together. These four aspects have to be in our mindset and in our practice if we're going to successfully live out legacy and pass legacy on to the next generation. Here's the truth. It's going to get harder and harder to be a follower of Jesus Christ. We've already crossed the threshold. <laughs> it's never going to get easier to be a follower of Jesus Christ. It's going to get harder. We have to be sure that the next generation is stronger than ever before. They need to know Christ. They need to have a firm foundation in Christ. So when the attacks get stronger, they get more active, that next generation is stronger and they can hold the faith and they, in turn, can continue to pass the faith to the next generation.